basically the issue of uh, the treatment that's being meted out against one Miguna Miguna. As Kenyans well know, I have got extremely very little that I agree with uh, Miguna Miguna. But, uh, you know, truth must be told, and we must look at these things also from a human perspective. And I'll draw your attention to the very famous poem by, by one uh, Martin Nimla, who said during the Nazi days that first they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out because I was, I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. Nothing can be more true about this statement than, than what this country, collectively, we are doing to one Miguna Miguna. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you recall that uh, in 2009, and if you go back to your media houses, we have got the records, we have got footage from your TV stations, where I wrote to then Prime Minister, Raila Odinga, and I told him that he was hiring uh, on public uh, 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 payroll in a public office with taxpayers' money, a foreigner uh, by the name of Miguna Miguna. That was in 2009. And I attached his Kenyan passport issued in Kisumu and his Canadian passport. And um, that time it was before the new the 2020 constitution which allowed for dual citizenship. So by that time it was illegal. In spite of the fact that it was illegal, uh, the then Prime Minister, through uh, Minister for Immigration at that time, the late uh, Otieno Kajuang, refuted and said and you can go to Citizen and KTN and all those footages in 2009 where he said Miguna Miguna is a Kenyan citizen. And they gave reasons. And they said, no, this is just me, Moses Kuria, trying to spell the name of Laila Odinga, the Prime Minister. Now, then we had 2020 constitution, so all the people with dual citizenship were regularized. And so there's nothing criminal, even today, in having dual citizenship. I think we need to bring this chapter to an end. Even as we were opposed to Miguna at that time, and I'm one of them, and I'm asserting that Miguna Miguna is a Kenyan. He has a right to come back to this country. The courts have ruled. We need to facilitate his return. During the burial of uh, uh, the late uh, Charles Rubia, His Excellency the President said that people who even those who are boarding planes like Miguna are free to come back. So how can we say with one hand that Miguna can come back, and then on the other hand, we issue alerts to all the airlines to say that he did not board the, 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 the airplanes. So now Miguna is just a vagabond in, 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 in foreign capitals. And there's nothing worse than a Kenyan or a person of any nationality undergoing such humiliation. There's nothing more reassuring than being back home, knowing that no matter what happens, finally you have got a home and a country. Have we, have we uh, rem uh, removed the citizenship of Miguna Miguna? In any case, the courts are supreme and the courts have ruled. How do you expect other Kenyans now to obey court rulings if the government is the first to, to disobey those rulings?